Hey guys, Crystal and Shadow here, back with Steven Universe, and this time it's Know Your Fusion. <laughs> the episode of fourth wall breaks and puns. Okay, I can't tell whether I hate Sidonix or I enjoy Sidonix. I know, right? <laughs> On one hand, she's annoying. On the other hand, I did laugh at quite a few of the jokes. <laughs> like footage courtesy of Cartoon Network. <laughs> or this... You went nuts for that. No, I went nuts for the clever joke about no they used my favorite joke oh, yeah. we don't She's have not to pay in this episode do we, Do we still, still have, have to pay, pay her? her oh that's a good one and especially of course because we don't want to pay Nicki minaj <laughs> i love it and of course you can't have a show without sneaking in the wilhelm scream somewhere oh yeah the wilhelm scream was there play the wilhelm scream right now okay <laughs> i'm sure you'll find it yeah but yeah okay and i was i was right i knew it had to be it would probably have been um I last episode when I was making jokes of which fusion it would be. Mm, I think you. Might I mean, have. like, I mean, okay, the most obvious was Zim, but then I probably joked and said Sardonic somewhere. I don't know. The only one I didn't say was Nicki Minaj. I wonder if she'll actually come back. Should I answer? <laughs> no, don't. Okay. I'm yeah, that's a good point. I wonder, because she's only had one speaking role. She appeared one more in that one where she broke the towel, but she didn't have a speaking role, of course. Yeah, she just quickly broke it, and that's it. Which was actually Sardonyx's debut episode. Yeah. But yeah, Sardonyx and Smokey was the interaction I never realised we needed. They both love puns. It works so well. I know. I'm so, I mean, I know we said it in, like, the Jasper episode, but I'm so glad that this is the first Steven Fusion we get, because, of course, it just makes so much sense. They're so in tune. Their personalities together. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I'm free, I mean, to be fair, we got more of Sardonyx, which last time we didn't get much, and I found her annoying. This time, yeah. half and half. Like, the first time, she really is annoying. And I have to give kudos to the fact that her accent does legitimately sound like a half-American, half-British accent. Oh, yeah. That's very well done. She even said uh, Alexandrite. Yeah, I know. That's a nice... She flip Which flops makes on... sense, because Garnet is British. Yeah, she flip-flops on the British and the American pronunciations. Which doesn't make sense, really, because how did Garnet end up being British when Ruby and Sapphire aren't? How did any... Oh, who cares? Whatever. It's the price you pay for having great voice actors. They, they, just, they just come with whatever accent they have. No, great voice actors use a different voice. Yeah. No offence to these shows or the four kids' voice actors, but they often can't use a different voice. Hmm. I mean, Stephen's not quite his real voice. That's true, but he's playing a younger character. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of what... Uh, the only one I can think of is Lars. It's one of the few voices which is only a slight exaggeration of his natural voice. Hmm. I don't know what he sounds like. Whereas most of the other uh, ca characters are just using their own voices. Oh, yeah, like Petey, Sadie. Sa Petey, Sadie, um, Sour Cream. Oh. And I'm going to guess all the main gems are. Yeah, Pearl basically sounds like herself. What about Peridot? Oh, well, I'll show you a bit of her later. Yeah. Hang on, didn't you... I'm trying to think. Is he... I'm trying to think if there's any... Are there any actors that double up? Um, not really, except um, any gem of the same kind is the well, same Well, yeah, that voice. doesn't count. Of course, all the rubies so and so all on. the rubies, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is good, because remember we once met Yellow Pearl... She sounded nothing like our Pearl. Yes. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. Kudo yes. yes. Sorry. So I will give kudos because all the rubies do have a, do sound different. Yes. You can actually tell which one is so talking on. without... Every listening. fusion is a whole different voice actor, right? As far as we yes. know. Yes. Except um, Malachi, what they did was they got Lapis and Jasper to both speak the lines and they put it together. Okay. But and I think they do the same with Alexandrite, maybe. maybe. But all the other fusions, which is still... That, to me, is an incredible voice acting yes, ability. Yes, for example, Stevani is yes, great. Yes, because, okay, with the other voices, you know, usually I just said, yeah, most of the voice actors just use their own voice, but clearly the voice actors doing the fusions are not because they've got to do a perfect blend, and that's incredible. Yeah, got to give credit to one Smokey. Of, one She's of the, great. One of the best talents of voice acting, it's not just doing a voice, it's doing a voice doing a voice. Oh, yeah, How if a character has to do an impression. That's not easy. What's even worse is when your character is doing an impression of another one of your characters. 
Oh, jeez. That's going to be tricky because you can't slip into one. You don't want to slip into either version. You need to have a fine line. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Back to the episode. I liked it because we saw at first Sardonyx didn't quite understand Smokey. Basically, she kind of assumed the yo-yo was like a secondary weapon and that Smokey hadn't shown her the main event yet because she thought the yo-yo wasn't good enough to be the main weapon. Well, that just proves how stupid Pearl is because Pearl should know, gee, a yo-yo, it's a weapon that looks like a toy. Of course, it's a perfect blend of Amethyst and Steven. Come on, Pearl. I know you're not the smart one, but you claim to be. <laughs> yeah, they didn't but, understand. Yeah, okay, of course, I love that reaction scene when they fuse. And the fact that they fused by doing the high five. Yeah. Because it's also how they first fused. Stephen reached out his hand and oh, she grabbed right. it. Oh, you're right. You're right, because usually most fusions... I'm sure it's... Yeah, every other fusion has been a dance, even with Stephen and Connie. Yeah, and it also sort of calls back to Stephen versus Amethyst when they um they were on the ground and then they reached up and they did that that fake where they their hands slip away yeah that was funny but i suppose that's it really th does call back to Stephen verse amethyst because I mean, in the end to be fair their fusion is basically the culmination of that entire amethyst dark it wasn't a jasper arc it's an amethyst dark yeah exactly and in the end Smokey got insecure and was saying things like well zero plus zero equals zero but she lost it off so she what? was calling both her parts, Stephen and Amethyst, are zero. She's saying, well, yeah, but both she does of it in my a joking people way, are... which is what which is what Stephen and Amethyst would do anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like in Stephen vs. Amethyst when they were saying, What is wrong with us? And which, they were joking. Okay, around. now I'm curious I mean, again, you can't say it, but I'm curious if Stephen will ever fuse with any of the other gems. I knew this one. I didn't know who it was, but as soon as I saw one of the shots of Smokey in the house, I realised I've seen that done there before. Yeah. But yeah, now I, but I didn't know which one it was until I saw it mm. again because I only saw it for a split second. But anyway, I'm gonna. Oh, this is a tough one. I'll go seven point five. I'm giving it an eight, mostly because of the humor. Yeah, it's exactly. A rare find where we have a gem-based episode which is entire, which is very humorous. Yeah. It's very well, it self wasn't our regular gems. Most of the time, it was Smokey and Sardonyx. I know. Two separate, two new characters, basically. Not new, new, but. Well, yeah, we both, but they both only had one appearance. We didn't get to know most of them either. Yeah. Whereas, you know, I think, to be fair, I think at this point we know Sardonyx more. We haven't really seen much of, um, what's the, Opal. We haven't seen much of Opal. Oh, yeah, she just got that one appearance. And, of course, we'll never see much of, um, Garnet and Amethyst. Oh, uh, yeah, Sugalite. And I think we've only had two appearances of all three of them. Oh, yeah. Because we had the one with Connie, and then, of course, we had the fight, amazing fight scene. With... Yeah, they mostly just use her for big fights. But, with that being said, what's the name of the next episode? Buddy's Book. Okay. Well, have we heard the name Buddy before? Um, oh, I feel like we have, and I feel stupid. <laughs> Buddy. You might have to just wait till the episode to remember who Buddy is. Buddy. Oh. He sounds so familiar. Yeah? It's not, no, it's not Greg's stupid friend. It's, um, it's, it's, find out next episode who Buddy is. See you next time, guys. See you next time.